All right, welcome back to Fox 47. This morning we are talking to the lovely Katie Mora, a little bit about nutrition, about dairy, and, and some of the fun things that you have on the table here for summer for kids. So we'll go ahead and hop right into that. You know, there's been a really big pull lately for people away from dairy, which is very sad, to almond milk, coconut, soy milk, all of these different kinds of milk in the thoughts that it's more nutritious for your kids, but that's not always the case. Right, yes, there's definitely a lot more to choose from in the dairy aisle these days. Cow's milk is still your best natural choice. The ingredient list is usually a lot shorter and it usually has a lot more protein than some of our alternative beverages tend to have. So it's still a really great choice. You also have nine essential nutrients in every eight ounce serving. So it's what I serve my kids every single day. It's a great base to really help provide a nutritional meal. So when you think you're going healthier by going to those soy or those coconut milks, that may not always be the case and sometimes you're better off just sticking with the good old fashioned dairy. Um, is there a different amount of dairy that each child should be consuming or that kids should consume based on their age? What, what is your expert opinion on that? Yes, so the amount of dairy that everyone needs really does depend on their age. For kids between the ages of two and three, we want two servings a day. For mm -hmm. children between the ages of four and eight, we want two and a half. And then for individuals nine and up, and this includes adults too, we want three servings a day. And for most Americans, we tend to fall a little bit short on our dairy. Mm -hmm. So it's always great to look for ways to incorporate incorporate that into meals and snacks um, throughout the day. And it's not always easy to do when you have kids because it's not always easy to say here's a glass of milk. There, there are some unique ways that you can kind of incorporate it into their diet. You actually brought some of those examples with us here today. Fun summer snacking, healthy snacks here. Tell us a little bit about what you got on the table here. Yes, yeah, so today I brought with me a yogurt parfait, which is one of my personal favorites. Super easy great to throw for breakfast. together. Yeah. So great for breakfast. It also doesn't take very much for it to look very fancy. And yogurt is particularly great during the summer months because it's very hydrating. It also has sodium and potassium. So it's hydrating. Yes, it is. It'll help you get <laughs> your water needs met. Um, and it'll also help replenish some of those electrolytes you might lose through sweat because of the potassium and sodium that it contains. Uh, add some Things fruit. Things you don't know. Exactly. <laughs> and some granola, go. and you have a really great, easy snack. Mm -hmm. I also brought some fruit and cheese kebabs. And what I love about this recipe is that, again, it's super simple. It's really portable. Uh, but you only need to eat two kebabs to get one serving in of dairy, so automatically you have hit one of those servings a day, very easy to do. And then I also brought some berry go-rounds with me, and these are- These are adorable. Ad I'm gonna pick they them are. up. They are. They're so cute. Now, they're, what are these little bottom pieces? They look like little mini Egos, right? They are. They are mini <laughs> toaster waffles, uh -huh. and they're topped with flavored cream cheese and then a variety of different fruit. So we call these berry go-rounds, but as you can see, I put more than just berries on top of each of these mini waffles. Um, it's a great way to get a lot of variety into your child's day. Mm -hmm. um, every food is a little bit different and has a different nutrient package, so if you can keep that rotating, you can make sure that they get a really wide variety of those nutrients they need. Right, so you can get in that dairy without always having to stick a cup of milk in front of them. And that is such a cute way, because I know with kids, the more visually engaging you can make the treats, the more likely they're going to be to choose those over a cookie or a fruit roll-up or some of those other things that have exactly. a lot of high sugar in them. That's all natural for them. Exactly, and you know, you could pair these up with a glass of milk, and now you've got a couple servings already out the gate, possibly Checking right at the, the beginning list. of the day. Yes, and <laughs> a glass of milk is a really great way to get those nine essential nutrients in a very easy and affordable way. All right, well, thank you so much, Katie, for coming on and talking with us today. We're going to talk more with Katie in the next hour about some more snacks and some good nutritional uh, opinions that you have for us. Thank yeah. you so much for coming on. We're going to toss it over to Darren for a check on the weather.